Hello everyone, this is a part of video of interfacing an LCD with Raspberry Pi. In the part one, we use the GPIO and the Python libraries to drive the LCD. And in part two, we are going to use the frame buffer. The advantages of using the frame buffer is that you can directly play videos on the LCD and also divert the console out onto the LCD. Uh, to give you a brief overview again of the LCD, it is an ST7735 and it can come with R, S series, so both of them should work with this tutorial. To give you an order of the pinout, so I'm going to use the reset pin from the LCD and I'm going to connect to the GPI27. The command, uh, you know, the command out or the command in to the LCD is going to be connected to the GPI25 and rest of the things would be pretty much obvious. So we're going to use SPI0 so you can use the MOSI and this clock here uh, and we're going to use the GPI08 that is chip select 0 of the SPI0 interface. The LED is directly driven to a 3.3 output and we are powering the LCD with a 5.5 output. So let's get started. So before we begin, just a uh, disclaimer that please follow the part one of interfacing the LCD with Raspberry Pi. Uh, I'm going to paste the link in the description and at the top of the screen uh, so that you have the Raspberry Pi configured with the SPI parameters and also like uh, I'm using that Pi instead of the Raspberry OS. Uh, it's going to even list how exactly you want to do that Pi. So with that cleared out, let's begin. I'm going to first create an overlay file. So there will be like uh, let me create 77 uh, DDS. Um, okay. Um, so I'm going to uh, quickly glance you through what exactly is included in the DDS. I'm going to uh, here. I'm mentioning the compatibility. Um, with, I mean here it's pretty much you're mentioning this for the Broadcom. Um, disabling the SpyDev, and instead we're going to choose the little driver space zero. Um, and here I'm creating instance zero of ST7735. Um, this is why I'm mentioning instance zero because uh, tomorrow, if you want to in uh, interface two LCD with the same Raspberry Pi, you can have a second instance uh, and have a specific configuration for that. Uh, uh, make sure with the compatibility, I'm measuring it's a uh, frame buffer DFT and Adafruit because the LCD we use is actually an Adafruit uh, 1.8 inch LCD. Uh, it's registered zero. Uh, need not worry about pin control names. Um, again, uh, I'm setting the maximum frequency to 40 megahertz. So you can go ahead and tweak this, like change 30 mega, 32 megahertz and see the performance. Um, not having any sort of rotation, but again, you can go ahead and set it 90 to uh, have a line skip mode, uh, etc. It's an 8 bit mode. Um, uh, I have limited the frames per second to 25, but uh, you can have even all the way to 60. Again, go ahead and experiment with this overlay file. Uh, uh, here comes the actual configuration uh, the reset pin. Uh, in my case, I think I have done the reset pin at 27 and the uh, command is 25. Uh, again, keep in mind, this is not the pin number, but the Broadcom GPIO number. Do not get confused with the pin numbers of the 40 pin header versus the Broadcom GPIO number. Uh, I've configured the LED to be 18, but um, I've just taken the LED, uh, you know, the backlight and connected it to 3.3 out. Uh, debug. Again, I've uh, done it with minimal debug, but you can change that with the, you know, DD overlay. Again, what's the use of these overrides? Now you can completely get rid of it, but if in the config.txt, that's in the boot folder, uh, boot partition, you can override the, all the configuration here with the command line kind of parameter in the overlay file. So um, again, it's a uh, you're mentioning what kind of LCD this is, what's the height and width, uh, you know, what's the maximum frequency supported, uh, you know, whether, you know, you want to have the you know, image rotated by a certain angle, uh, orientation, uh, the frame width, uh, frame, uh, frames per second, DGR, RGB, depends on the LCD type, uh, debug, amount of debug information that gets spit out during the initialization of the LCD. Again, uh, this is the command, GPIO, your reset GPIO, and the LED. 
uh, that's pretty much it. Now let's go ahead and compile this uh, driver. I'm going to save it. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, paste the parameters. So it's not complete. Uh, it's the that that's the file that I just created. And this is the source file. It's something which is readable and it will be compiled into a binary. So you would see most gibberish here. Don't try to open this file directly and mess around with it. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and compile. And yeah, the, uh, it's compiled, no errors. Next, I'm going to go ahead and change the uh, config file. I have already added this configuration, but I'm gonna just learn through it, the config file. First thing uh, to know is like um, here, I have DD parameter, I have turned on the audio. This is pretty much, uh, you know, you have an audio jack on your Raspberry Pi. So to enable audio on that. And the next thing is that ensure that Pi uh, interface is actually active. You have to have this as on. And then comes the DD, uh, DD overlay configuration. So this is the, uh, the overlay file or DDB file to just uh, compile. And that's the, this is the name of the file. You don't need to include that DDBO. It's just that project is 77 and the debug. Um, so I mentioned earlier, other, uh, previously about the OLS. So the whole idea is like, you can actually provide the parameter like this. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, and this will be accepted from here. Uh, you, you can pretty much override the uh, default configuration of the DDS file. But I'm going to keep it as it is. I'm going to save this. Yes, I want to save that. And I'm going to now go and uh, reboot the system. And parallelly, I'm going to turn on the camera. So it's showing its display is shown as white right now, the white background. So once it's initialized, it should be pretty much grayed out. So that indicates the driver has initialized. So, yep. The drivers, uh, the LCD right now is shows gray. So let me go ahead and log in. First thing you need to look out for is the frame buffer available. So um, you can see there are two frame buffers. Typically F0 indicates your HDMI. So the next one should be your LCD. Um, so sudo FB set FB. One. Um, sorry. Okay. Yep. So this is giving the complete details about the driver. Now let me go ahead and just run run some uh, you know sample video here. Um, and on the LCD, you should see the actual video being played. And you can see it. There you have it. The actual video being played on the LCD and if you connect the audio I mean headphones to your audio jack you should see the you should hear the audio as well so that's all I had in this video I'm going to you know paste complete details and the link uh, to the DTS file in the description thank you so much for watching please do like share and subscribe for more videos like this thank you